Monday 5th of October. I've got the day off work so I can hang out with Ruby and we're planning to go to Lincoln which is the next town over. It has a uh, Lincoln University uh, which is a, like an agricultural university and I think that's about it over there so we're gonna go and check that out uh, because apparently there is a bakery that does a hamburger pie uh, so that's really what we're going over for. Uh, I had a fairly quiet weekend uh, it was quite Sunday I did actually book some tickets to Perth so uh, with the uh, Trans Tasman bubble opening up uh, our way so it means I can go from New Zealand to uh, Australia without quarantining uh, it's, yeah we can go home kind of so I still have my Air New Zealand tickets for uh, the 4th of December uh, into from Auckland to Melbourne but Jetstar have opened up bookings, so I have booked second of November, second of December, for Christchurch to Melbourne, and I've used my vouchers for that, and the flights were quite cheap. So on top of my voucher, I think it costs about ninety dollars uh, to get on that flight. Uh, Melbourne is still in lockdown. And Melbourne International Airport is currently not actually taking flights. So they will announce that on the 5th or 6th of November. Dan Andrews will announce whether he's going to open up the uh, airport or not in Melbourne. So I won't know until then. But the earlier you get your flights in, obviously the cheaper they are. So my theory is uh, it'll open and we'll be able to fly in on the Jetstar tickets and not quarantine and be in Melbourne and the Air New Zealand tickets are fully refundable so we can get that uh, money back. Uh, if they don't open the airport, we then use the uh, Air New Zealand tickets and we fly into Sydney, then fly down to Melbourne, which means we have to get up to Auckland because the tickets for Air New Zealand are from Auckland and the Jetstar tickets, I would be assuming, would revert back to a uh, voucher as they have been so it looks like we'll be in Australia for Christmas beginning of December and I'm not going to go to WA until the borders are open so I think uh, it's looking like the East Coast will pretty much open and we'll be able to cruise around uh, the East Coast so I'm not sure where Christmas will be I doubt very much it'll be in WA at this stage but we still got eight weeks to go before we fly, so it gives me plenty of time to work on the van and see what happens, see what announcements happen, see how COVID goes, and uh, yeah, so that was pretty exciting, but it did take me all afternoon to uh, make the voucher work and get it all happening, but it's done now, so we have a date. We're definitely leaving either the 2nd of December or the 4th of December, depending on what happens, so g'day Australia. So we're at Hilliers and this is Charlie. Say hi Charlie. This is Ruby's friend. And we're really disappointed because it, they don't have the hamburger pies. So we've just got normal pies and... It's a wee bit disappointing. <laughs> wee. It's a wee bit disappointing. They all say that here. They're weird. And uh, we're going to have to go and search for the hamburger pie, unfortunately, but we just got normal pies. Steak, steak and cheese and steak and mushroom. Absolutely. It's a wee bit disappointing, but we managed also, to find ourselves a nice wee bakery with some good pies. Hilliers Bakery and Cafe. It is a brilliant little cafe here in the little town of Lincoln. We thought it was home to the majestic burger pie, but upon further inspections, it was just home to regular pies. But those regular pies turned out to be some of the best darn pies we have ever eaten. <laughs> 